Hey, it's Chris and BDW here at Resolve Technology. Hey, um, Chris, what's happening? Bri Brian's sick of doing the generic intro, so we thought we'd switch it up. Yeah, no, that's nothing customer facing, Brian. That my notepad. That yeah, that's basic. That's very generic. That doesn't mean anything. Anyone have a lot of people have that. We wanted to do one on the built-in Windows Tiling Manager. I think it's called Windows Tiling Manager. A lot of clients ask this because as we move people, replace workstations, people are moving over to Windows. 11, where they're being introduced with a new way to tiling. Now, a lot of clients we know, for example, we usually see a lot of Dell computers in a business environment. They download that Dell software, or it might be pre-installed if you're not using your own Windows image, is Dell Display Manager. And you can go in there and some people might, if you're ever presenting your screen in a Teams meeting, you'll see a red outline around your borders around your monitor. You might have borders show up around different windows so you can resize them. With Windows, I usually just, whatever's my app of window, if I hit the Windows key and use the arrow keys, I can hit up, right, down, left, move it over to another monitor, say I want that there, then it's going to bring this up. And oh, I want my Elgato here. What else? I want to bring up my key line. combination again, Chris? Just the window keys and arrow keys. Now, to start it on an active window, you want to choose your active window. So if I minimize all this, right, like say I just want this browser window, I can just go like this. And then I usually choose what I want in the other one. I might. So this is essentially what, because I'm not familiar with the Dell yeah. manager you were talking about. I just hit the Windows up key, right? And it put it back. But so if I do Windows right key or I go, and then it'll bring this up. Now you can, instead of doing what I'm doing with the arrow key, say you're just sitting here like this. You can drag the, what you're trying to move around towards the top and you'll see that, see how it pops up, little bar. There should be a little bar and then it gives you multiple layouts. So you can just do it this way without the key bind too. I could go like this or oh, I didn't like that. Let's, let's do this or i don't know whatever combination you want you just drag towards the top of the tiling manager here which is the top middle of the screen it's just a drag and drop yeah i just prefer this here so i generally i'll go boom i might want to make it bigger it might be an easier way to resize this but i generally do this i i like to there's a lot of times where i might have 10 tabs and i like to have them side by side if i'm reviewing documentation and doing something in the browser well this is really nice chris for some of the clients the monitors seem to get be getting bigger and bigger and for some yeah. clients it's almost like your home tv size screen like you could just split it up easily doing this right yeah so if i do left and right arrow too like you can't see i have three monitors but if i keep hitting the left arrow i'm jumping between all three screens if i hit the down arrow then it resizes it again and i'm so you can move it between so multi it's very good for multi-monitor support whereas something like that virtual desktop thing here when you create a new desktop You'll see there's nothing in this desktop. Desktops, I just find that people, I don't use it. I've had no one that would like to use, I think I had one person like, I'm interested in it, but I have three monitors. I don't really have a, only use I can think of is I'm signed into three different Microsoft tenants and I'm remoted into a client server for three different, so three different servers, three different clients, and each client has its own desktop. But I could just do that with each screen too. Like yeah. when you have three, two to three monitors, there's not much to go off of. Like you'd have to have a real specific, specific use case, I think, to get really heavy into that. I agree. Unless you're doing tech support, it doesn't really make sense because it just starts using all this processor power. If you go beyond like three monitors, people start to lose track of, you lose track of your virtual desktops, you lose track of what you're doing. It's almost, it's way too eight as far as I'm concerned, but. There's more um, too, let me bring this up. Now that Google has like AI, this happens in Bing too, so it doesn't matter what. But so the things that we're talking about, Windows plus up arrow technically maximizes current window to screen, windows plus down key, arrow key, minimizes the current window, windows plus the D key, shows the desktop the first time pressed and restores windows to their previous state when pressed again. Windows plus the home key clears all the active windows and restores all windows when pressed again. Right arrow moves window to the right, left to the left, up moves the window up and then down moves the windows down. So I just gave you a rough, I, I don't have it memorized on what one does what, I just, it's muscle memory for me. But you yeah. can all, you can find this. There isn't a Microsoft help page for it, but if you do Windows tiling hotkey in Google, 
in a Google search, it should come up with this right here. Here we go. I'll, we'll put this link here in the in the show notes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much it. And then Windows 10 has this feature, but it's really not the same in my opinion. So it's the first thing someone that moves over to Windows 11 notices. The last thing I want to mention is if you're new to Windows 11, let me minimize some stuff here. When you right click, if I right click on the desktop here, now you have an extra click to see the old school looking menu. This bot, it doesn't bother me anymore because I'm just used to it now, but it is annoying that they changed that. Now that's the first thing I see people, hey, there's a lot of end users that do not like extra clicks and they might want to just do things and if it's inefficient, they don't care that it, it works for them. It's the way they understand it. So something as simple as them making you do show more options might throw you off. So just know, I don't know if there's a way to change that. I don't think so, but that's the other big thing that people seem to mention to me. Like, oh, I don't, why do I have to do an extra click? Right. All right, Chris. Hey, thanks a lot. Yep. Have a good one.